Hi, this is your host of the Bharatiya on behalf of the Linux Foundation. Uh, Crack and D recently contributed their open source API gateway project to the Linux Foundation uh, and a new project uh, called Lura project was born. To talk about the project we have with us, co-founder of the project, Albert Lamborte, uh, executive director of the Lura project at the Linux Foundation, Albert. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Before we talk about the project, I want to understand from you, I want you to explain to our viewers, what exactly is an API gateway? An API gateway is a tool that is between the clients, the consumers of an API, and the backend services, which actually have the data that the users want to consume. So an API gateway is a product uh, that makes uh, possible that things like security, rate, rate limiting, authorization, uh, load balancing, all of that happens without needing to implement that in the backend part. If I'm not wrong, we kind of live in an API-driven world. No matter what you talk, all the connectivities are done through API. So, so can you also just uh, you explain the basics? If, if you go a step further, that what role do these gateways play there? You talked about security, but other, you know, just 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 to understand. Yes, um, the the economy uh, around the APIs is thriving. This is something that we have been seeing for the past uh, five years. And we are now in a moment where the microservices have exploded and the API gateways um, are an essential piece of software that, uh, that is between the client and the backend. Uh, so we can control things um, like uh, the security. When I say security is, for instance, all the uh, TLS, um, all the channel that is secured that we want to make sure that the users cannot access the backend services without a valid uh, without a valid token, for instance. Or we also want to make sure that the, the users uh, do not uh, uh, that the users do not uh, send more traffic than they should expect. So they are very limited. And um, we have also uh, several let's say functionalities that we offload from the from the backend uh, services now let's talk about crack and d project there are other projects that are kind of solving the same problem how unique was or is crack and d what specific area are you looking at in the api gateway space yes there is a lot of api gateways in the market uh, I think that we are different uh, mainly because we are not coupled to the backend so what Cracking is that it offers a new contract that sits between the client and the services. And while other API gateways are uh, connections one-to-one, -one, meaning that one client can connect to one backend services at a time, we do a lot of um, aggregation and, and functionality in the middle. So the client is actually consuming our API, the Kraken API, and not the services API. So that's one, one difference. Another difference is that also uh, we, have, um, we have functionality that allows to go faster with an API gateway than without uh, the API gateway. It might, sound contra uh, um, it might sound not intuitive because if you add a, a piece of software in the middle uh, of the communication, it should be slower. But we have things like uh, um, concurrent calls that we can stress more the backends in exchange of having more speed into the client. Why did you decide to contribute the project to the Linux Foundation? We saw uh, in, on April uh, 2020 that we had uh, 700,000 uh, servers per month running. And this April, we had 1.2 uh, million uh, servers running per month. That's a huge number. It's a high, it's a very uh, steep growth. And we wanted to make sure that we can grow at uh, the same speed as the community. Um, we wanted the users to have uh, the project open and with a true open governance model. So it's not that we wanted that our project is uh, an open source project from a private company that follows our interests, but we wanted to have a really an open governance model and onboard more people. We've seen that companies like Oracle or developers from Microsoft are contributing our project, and we want to make that 
uh, for real. And being in a neutral and open governance uh, forum like the Linux Foundation is, will allow us to, uh, to grow more and to have a more open uh, project that we have right now. Linux Foundation has a very good uh, kind of structure when it comes to governance, uh, managing the pro uh, project, and also helping the project grow. Uh, is Kraken the uh, like uh, in in form of Lura going to have the same kind of governance model, or it's going to be a bit different? So talk about uh, the governance model of the project. How does the structure of the project look like? Uh, we have taken the let's say the standard uh, governance model from the Linux Foundation. So we haven't uh, tuned it very little. The, let's say the the more common ways of uh, establishing a, a new project on, on Linux Foundation. And uh, pretty much what it is, is that day, on day zero, we start, uh, um, our company, Kraken D, will start as the contributors of the, of the project. And from now on, we will onboard more contributors into the project from different companies. And that's, let's say, the standard open governance model. There's nothing fancy about it. And nothing special. Can you also talk about the community around the project? What we are seeing is that companies like uh, Oracle have needs to uh, expand our our product to to add new functionality. We have also seen uh, contributions from developers from Microsoft, and what we see is that our product has a very complete uh, feature set because it's been used in a lot of companies. But still, there are things that Need to be need to be added. Uh, we we constantly see uh, contributions that add features like, uh, for instance, IP filtering or other interesting functionality. Things that we cannot take right now from Kraken D because we don't have the time. But we we want this community to uh, to grow and to uh, make more. Uh, to make more features with us. We have right now uh, 60, uh, sorry, 600 uh, developers on Slack. That's the size of our, let's say, most active community. 600 developers that uh, have constant uh, contact with us and request features and, and ask about, uh, uh, ask about uh, problems that they face. Uh, we also have like uh, 400 forks of the project, of the Lula project. And the Kraken overall has more or less 60 contributors that, that help us uh, with the problem. Albert, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about Lura project. Uh, it's an exciting project. I'll be keeping an eye on it. And you look forward to talk to you again as there are new announcements from the project. So thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much for having me. I'm hoping to see more, more projects like us, like ours. Thank you.